What's up, guys? It's another video from Negro Anime, and today we're gonna talk about another year-end stream. It's gonna. This is gonna be about all the changes that have occurred in 2021 in the Black Menosphere. These are the top thing things that have changed the Menosphere in 2021. A lot has changed over the years, and what can we say? The number one thing that has changed is the meteoric rise of a lot of these content creators in the manosphere black manosphere especially we got to talk about kevin sanders how he blew up right before the end of last year he just blew up from 100k to now 1.2 million subscribers in just one year that's like a hundred thousand subscribers every month that man just blew up with that video average at best <laughs> everybody remembers average at best <laughs> <laughs> everybody made a commentary about Average at Best and everybody got a copyright strike from Kevin Sanders to make a commentary about Average at Best. That was his video and he wasn't going to let nobody take the shine from him. Anybody that made a commentary got a copyright claim on them. Even I got a copyright claim and I was just doing a commentary. That was his video that made him, that put him on the mat to turn him in this meteoric rise. So what can we say? After Kevin Sanders, everybody started coming out with suits. Even I was wearing some suits for a while. Everybody was taking this man seriously, was taking the Black Menosphere seriously. And a lot of comedians were even imitating Kevin Samuels. What can we say? Trey Mo, Afion Crockett, all of them were imitating <laughs> this brother from the Manosphere. They call him Saint Kevin, some of them call him the Godfather. <laughs> but Kevin Samuels, no one ever thought that this man focusing on fragrances, focusing on image, would raise the manosphere and put it to the map of where it is right now. And because of St. Kevin, a lot of other black content creators also rose, had a meteoric rise. So, what can we say about Kevin Samuels? <laughs> it was a godsend. With Kevin Samuels, with his movie, video average at best, you know, now, Everybody's getting a legato stream deck so they can put sound effects into their videos. Even I have the sound effects board. Every major content creator is starting to follow, copy, Kevin Samuel almost. You see a lot of them with suits, a lot of them are even interrupting the middle of the stream just so they can get the likes up. Every, you know Kevin Samuel, everybody. He really has mastered the YouTube algorithm and he's changed his um, the topics of his show has slowly changed and almost are following what the YouTube algorithm. He's learned what the people want. And now he has this sort of brand that nah, that Roland Martin identified. A lot of people, even Roland Martin identified this guy was able to brand himself. Well, he is an image consultant, so who else would know how to brand and market themselves? So, you know, Kevin Samuels was all of his sayings. <laughs> we got to say, whether you love or hate him, you got to say that Kevin Samuels really helped the Menosphere in 2021. Another way that the Menosphere has changed is that now we have a lot of professionals. You know, in 2020, we didn't have a lot of professionals like lawyers, doctors, accountants, physiotherapists, pharmacists on the Black Menosphere. Now you got a lot of these different professionals now starting their own YouTube channel into the Black Manosphere and, you know, working from the Black Manosphere target content creators and audiences. And now all of those content creators, most notably would be the lead attorney, he's having a meteoric rise. You never thought that being a lawyer would be something transferable that he could use in social media. But thanks to O'Shea Duke Jackson, bringing him up several times, he was actually able to get comfortable, you know, with the audience. And now with the streaming, he can just do a video shot in four or five hours without any editing. I've seen his first cuts of his editing, and that's a lot of editing. Like every five seconds, the lead attorney was editing because he was such a perfectionist. When he found out about live streaming, that's when it took off. Everyone else, got into live streaming so the give back he's really helping out other help of other professionals to come into the game yeah pocket watching your favorite pharmacist 
Uncle Stu on the block, El Guapo, the Billionaire Mindset, or Before the Billions, Millionaire Mindset also, and, and even myself, Neil Rani, bringing all of these professionals into the game, all these licensed professionals into the game to put uh, their commentary. Another way that it's changed is that in 2021, a lot of these fake YouTube content creators, a lot of the big ones were exposed in 2021 because so many people have come into the Manosphere that it's really hard for you to fake it now because so now that the Manosphere is so widely known, there's so many people that are exposing other people, little content creators, Instagram models, the, the whole shebang, you know, ex-girlfriends, ex-wives are all coming forward and exposing a lot of these content creators. So, I'll, I'll, you know, I did a video on it last week of the content creators that were exposed, but I'll go through all them. Kevin Samuels, Myron Gaines, Walter Weeks, Donovan Sharp, Derek Jackson, Dr. Umar Johnson, Glendon Cameron, Boyce Watkins, Mark Webb Burton, and even Cynthia G. A whole bunch of content creators are now being exposed Thanks to the Manosphere with so many content creators that now everybody can't really fake it no more. You got a lot of these professionals in the game and now they're calling cap. The next way it's changed the Manosphere is that we've heard a lot of new terms in the Manosphere. Largely from Kevin Samuels, CIA, FBI, Big Shirley, uh, what else he got over there? Danger Zone, you know... <laughs> So he's got a lot of all these new terms that's coming into the Manosphere. The Henrys, you got My Ling, you got Maria's, you, you, well they popularized the Karen term. The Gynocrats, weaving and sailing up as O'Shea Du Jackson likes to use it every stream he has. And Modern Woman, that's also been defined thanks to the Black Manosphere. So a lot of these new terms have come into the Black Manosphere that have been expo uh, shown. Another big thing that's happened in 2021 for the Black Manosphere is a lot of content creators across the 100,000 sub. A lot of them. A lot of content creators. It could be during because of COVID. A lot of people are staying indoors, but a lot of content creators across the 100,000 number. It was really hard for, for people to get 100,000 subs to cross over that. It was like glass ceiling. Kevin Samuels were right at there with 100,000. He crossed over and he went meteoric rise. Donovan Sharp crossed it. Fresh and Fit crossed it. Jay the Black crossed it. Anthony Spade crossed it. O'Shea Du Jackson crossed it. Meteor Tutorial and Reviews crossed it. The Lee Attorney crossed it. Darius M crossed it. Steph is Cold and Replicant Fish. I believe my favorite one is Replicant Fish. And if you want to judge all of them I I really like replicant fish if you don't if you haven't seen this video I will log in and look up replicant fish the next thing that has changed in the black menosphere is that the menosphere the black menosphere the the title the name the black menosphere has been trademarked that caught a lot of black content creators by surprise who we weren't aware that this word could be trademarked, but actually it can be trademarked and it was trademarked by Adam Resnick. So a lot of content creators, they were divided. Some were with him, some were not against him. A lot of them were speaking against, against him saying that, you know, he can't really trademark this name and it doesn't mean anything. Especially O'Shea Duchan, he had the Negro Manosphere, which I don't believe he has trademarked, but he should trademark before somebody else comes and steal it. You know how we are, black folks. <laughs> we were robbing each other. So if I was O'Shea Du Jackson, I would go ahead and trademark that name right away. Red Sings the Blues was cautioning O'Shea Du Jackson to make sure he trademarks this name so it makes sure other people don't come and try and teeth it and then hand out some copyright strike for using their name. That's another way it has changed in 2021. The name that the Black Ministry has been trademarked. So far, we haven't seen any recourse from it. We haven't seen any change in the Black Menosphere. It's just a title, pretty much. The next thing that has changed the Black Menosphere is 
the magazine. Now the Black Menosphere has its own magazine. Pretty much another person outside the Menosphere created this magazine, this pamphlet called the Black Menosphere Magazine. And in it, it gives a report card on black people in America. How are we doing in America? And when you look at the 10 different categories, you know, politics, health, wealth, really, um, uh, working, all these different ways, we're, we're really getting a low grade. There was a lot of C's and D's and some F's. I did not see any A's or B's where we're excelling. Maybe entertainment. But other than that, all the other areas, you know, work, income, employment, all these other areas, health, we, we're having a failing grade. So it's this pamphlet, this uh, booklet that the Black Ministry that was created was very helpful. Some people didn't like it, but you know, the information in there is true. You got, you also they also included terms and glossaries of words that the manosphere likes to use a lot. So there's a lot more words in there outside of Kevin Samuels over the ones that I just mentioned. There's a lot more in there. And also they defined the manosphere. And that was really given, you know, the black manosphere, you know, a ground, a stand to, to proclaim to everybody who they are. Instead of outside people coming in and telling them what the black manosphere is, now we have people inside the manosphere who are now creating this term, the black manosphere. The next thing that's changed in the black manosphere is, <laughs> usually the black manosphere is mostly men, all men. But as of 2021, there's a lot of females that are getting into the black menosphere. So maybe it may change to maybe they'll have their own splinter group called the black woman sphere or just be called the black sphere. But there's a lot of black women sympathizers who are coming into the black menosphere and having the same talking points as the as the menosphere and reiterating it to the females. Maybe they might be able to listen if it comes from a female then it would come from a man. So a lot of these famous content creators in the black manosphere, which is supposed to be men doing their own content, is you got uh, Crimson Cure, that's a big one, Dianika Marie, Jessica X, Cynthia G, Sister George. Now, Sister George, she got into the manosphere by buying her way in. She bought one of the manosphere content creators, Ramil Amir, bought his YouTube platform, but the whole channel. So now this sister, which is surprising, you would think that a brother would have bought it, but a sister comes in and buys a brother's Manosphere content, and now it's gonna say or give the same information that's in the Manosphere, but coming from a woman. A lot of people have been calling these women pick Mishas, you know, <laughs> ladies, you know, pick me's. So, you know, it, we'll see how it goes, you know. <laughs> if they start getting out of line, you know, people will start, you know, casting them out of the, the Manosphere, like Cynthia G. She's not really for the Manosphere, but she still has ties with the Black Manosphere. Another way that the Manosphere has changed is that we are now being our own authors. As you can see, a brother from the Manosphere, one of the brothers, one of the oldest brothers in the Manosphere, Obsidian. Obsidian decided that he was gonna make, I guess, uh, a book of all the talking points that the Manosphere is trying to communicate to all the outside audience. Finally, somebody from within the Manosphere is making an emic view, emic viewpoint, of the Manosphere, instead of having an ethic viewpoint, because there's a lot of people who are looking, who are not in the Manosphere, looking into the Manosphere and making their own judgment about the Manosphere. And there's plenty of videos, you'll see them, you know, ex one channel will be called Exposing the Manosphere. That's one channel that's been documented that the Manosphere without being within the Manosphere, they were taking an ethic view 
of the Manosphere. Now we have brothers that are within the Black Manosphere documenting and giving our own narrative of what the Black Manosphere is. So it's great to see, you know, the Book of Obsidian being released in 2021 to give our own voice about what the Black Manosphere is and to give the text form instead of video form, the text form for other people to read and documentary. So anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Have I left any changes that were in the Black Manosphere? Have I left anything out? If anything, leave a comment down below. This is William from Negro Ronnie. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, I also have a Patreon. So y'all can log into my Patreon and go ahead and see all the videos on there. So anyways, guys, this is William from YouTube.